Okay, in this example, we're going to solve the system of equations x plus y plus z equals negative 6, negative 2x minus y plus z equals negative 2, and x minus 2y minus z equals negative 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some elimination to try to create uh, two equations that involve two variables only, and I want them to be the same two variables. So I'm looking at these, and I'm seeing immediately that there's a couple equations I could add together to make things cancel. So notice if I add my first and second equation, we would have x plus negative 2x, which would be negative x. Positive y and negative y would be 0y. Positive z plus z would be positive 2z. And then negative 6 plus negative 2 will be negative 8. So now I've got an equation involving only x and z. I want to create another equation involving only x and z. So we'll come back to this one in a second. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take again my first equation, x plus y plus z equals negative 6. And now I'm going to use my third equation, x minus 2y minus z equals 1. And again, what I'm going to try to do is create an equation where, where the y uh, is no longer there. So I'm going to multiply both sides of my first equation by 2. So we'll have 2x plus 2y plus 2z equals negative 12, leaving the second equation alone. Now I'm going to add these two equations together. So 2x plus 1x will be 3x. Again, uh, the y's will cancel out. 2z plus negative z will be a positive 1z. Negative 12 plus 1 will be negative 11. So now we've got the equation negative x plus 2z equals negative 8, the one we found a second ago. And now I'm going to use 3x plus z equals negative 11. Okay, so now my goal is to take this new system and either solve for, either solve for x or solve for z. Um, and again, I'm going to do that by eliminating either x or z. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of my first equation here by positive 3. And if we do that, we'll have, well, negative 3x plus 6z equals negative 24. And then again, we've still got 3x plus z equals negative 11. If we add those two equations together, the x's will cancel. 6z plus 1z will be 7z. Negative 24 plus negative 11 will be negative 35. If we divide both sides by 7, we'll get that z equals negative 5. So once you've figured out one of the values, the rest of them will fall into place pretty quickly. So you can use any equation that you have to try to solve for the other variables. Well, one of the equations we had was 3x plus z equals negative 11. So I'm going to substitute in the fact that z equals negative 5. So we'll have 3x plus negative 5, or 3x minus 5, equals negative 11. If we add 5 to both sides, negative 11 plus 5 will be negative 6. And then if we divide both sides by 3, we'll get x equals negative 2. And now we can go back to one of our starting equations to solve for y. So again, we've got that x equals negative 2, z was negative 5. So I'm just going to take my first equation. So we have x, which is negative 2, plus y. We're going to figure that one out. Plus negative 5. I'm just going to write that as minus 5. Well, negative 2 minus 5, that's going to be negative 7. And now if we add 7 to both sides, uh, negative 6 plus 7 will be positive 1. So now we've found our solution. It says x needs to equal negative 2, z should equal negative 5, and y should equal 1.
So we can write that as an ordered triple, negative 2, comma 1, comma negative 5. And again, we've got our one unique solution.